Now, for the rest of the lesson, we're going to do something with percents, because percents often are written with decimals, and so some percent situations lead into equations with decimals. First, a little review about percent. Now, percent means per hundred or hundredth part. So therefore, for example, 23 hundredths is 23 percent, or 6 hundredths is 6 percent. Now, 1.1 is a decimal number that we can change into a percent. And it happens this way. You just have to think how many hundredths are there. The 1 itself makes 100%. And then this is 1 tenth, which if I write it as 10 hundredths, then you can see that it would be 10%. So there's 100% and 10%, or a total of 110%. This here has one and two hundredths. Two hundredths is of course two percent, and this one is hundred percent, so this is hundred and two percent. Write an expression using a decimal. Okay, I have a percentage, an of, and some quantity, or a percentage of an unknown. This of translates into multiplication. It's as simple as that. And then of course this we will write using a decimal. So 16% is just 0 0.16, 16 hundredths, and this is now multiplication, and then I just write that. And that's what we were asked to do, just write an expression. There's no need to calculate this for now. This one here, 7%, would be as a decimal 0 0.07, or 7 hundredths. Of translates into multiplication, and then x here. But I don't need to write the multiplication sign between x and the number. We're going to use this technique to solve these two word problems now. We're going to write an equation for both and solve the equation. Okay, Mark pays 23% of his salary, S, in taxes. I put the S here, that means that we're going to denote his salary by the variable S. That's the unknown. Find his salary is what we are supposed to do. If he pays for $425.50 in taxes, then find his salary. Okay, this is the same situation as here. We have a percentage of something, right? We have 23% of his salary. So right here, this here, 23% of his salary S is, just like here, it would be 0.23 S. And we know how much he pays in taxes. It's this amount. Okay, so 23% of S equals that amount, right? So at first you can think of it this way. 23% of his salary S equals this money amount. But now we just write this with a decimal. Okay, 0 0.23. And of is the multiplication, but we don't need to write the multiplication symbol here. Just put 0 0.23 S equals this money amount and now the equation is ready to be solved it's a multiplication equation so we divide both sides by this decimal 0 0.23 and so we get s equals this money amount 425.50 divided by 0 0.23 by a decimal and now you take your calculator and punch those numbers in and divide. And we get, I've done that beforehand, so we get 1,850. So that is his salary. Another very similar example. The rent was increased by 5% and it is now that much, $163.80. Find the rent before the increase. Okay. When the rent is increased by 5%, it becomes 105% of the original, okay? An increase of 5% means that we take 105% of what it was. And, and what was it? Well, we don't know that. We have a variable for it. The R is the rent. So 105% of the rent. The original rent is this number here, because this is the rent after the increase. Now I just write this as a decimal, okay? Just like here. 
Here's a very good example. It becomes 1.05. And then R times R equals this money amount, $163.80. Again, it is a multiplication equation, so we divide both sides by 1.05. And we get R equals $163.80 divided by 1.05. And that, a calculator is useful for that. And we will get $156 from that calculation. Okay, we're all done with this, and I hope this was helpful.